new twist in the Kate Steinle case. The attorneys for the man acquitted of murdering Kate Steinle want his gun possession conviction tossed out and have asked now for a new trial. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez is in the newsroom with this new and very interesting development, Leanne. Yeah, well, you know, Dan, it's not uncommon for the defense attorneys to throw everything at the court right before sentencing, right? So in this case, they're trying to get their client off the hook at the state level with the hope of influencing the federal government, which is now waiting to take him away. In this motion for a new trial, the operative word is momentary possession. The defense wants to argue that Jose Inez Garcia Serrate found the gun that killed Kate Steinle wrapped in a piece of cloth under a chair at Pier 14, and while handling the item, the gun went off. I hear that boom, boom. Garcia Serrate's lawyers say for a moment he held the gun as he tried to quickly get rid of it by throwing it in the waters of the bay. The gun fired, but at that moment, he knew it was a gun, and he, as he threw it, he had this very momentary possession that uh, they felt compelled to convict him of. Momentary possession is not considered unlawful, but the jury was never instructed by the judge to consider momentary possession, instead convicted Garcia Serrate of possessing a firearm. The prosecution now has until January 2nd to oppose the motion. Once they file it, we'll evaluate it and we'll go from there. Still, this new motion will not affect his sentencing date, which is January 5th, because Garcia Serrate has almost served the maximum penalty of three years. So why ask for a new trial? Because Garcia Serrate has now been indicted by the federal government on charges of being a felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition, and for being an undocumented immigrant in possession of that firearm. John Creighton is a um, former prosecutor. I would guess that they are probably going to wait until the issues are resolved in the, at the state level. And then once the issues are resolved at the state level, the warrant is in effect and the defendant would have to be turned over to the federal government. And of course, it means Garcia Serrate will not be released into the community because of a pending federal warrant. Again, he will be sentenced next month. In the newsroom, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.